camera rolling. I was a hippie back in the 60s, and I was called Sump. The 60s were a wonderful time. Love was in the air. We traveled, we were free to do things that we can't do now, run naked on the beach, take drugs, all kinds of things. During that time, the inner boy said to me, make films. So I did. I went back to Ohio, bought an old Bolex camera, basic editing equipment, and bought a 100-foot roll of extra chrome reversal. And in my basement, with the equipment I had available, I created this first eight miles high. A lot of single frame material in there. So what I'd then do is go over to Date, the lab at Dayton, Ohio, because TV cameras were still using film. So I could get it in by three and out by five for ten bucks and go back in my basement and cut it. Edit it, cut it to the, the soundtrack. I knew my audience. My audience was midnight movies, Saturday night, Antioch College. Everybody came to see a western or a thriller or something. And I was the projectionist. So everybody was a little stoned, a little drunk, and we had the two big 35mm projectors and a big 16mm. So I'd strike the arc on the back of the 16mm and put it on the screen. There it was. Sound was big, the visuals were big, and everybody just loved it. So the next film is was made when my first wife, Chris, was getting ready to leave me. And I made it called Little Red Book. And the drawings you see, every frame, I drew those drawings myself. And the actor was one of the local characters. And he came and again did it in my basement with nothing but a red light bulb. So here we go. Little Red Book. So 